born and raised here, uh, went through all of our schooling here together. High school sweet, sweethearts. Um, wow, it's been a long time. <laughs> together we own Quincy Hardware and Lumber. The industry uh, that was here was uh, pretty much 100% farming industry, yeah. Just a, a small town with a single light hanging right in the main intersection there with a couple banks and uh, a couple grocery stores and a couple hardware stores and that was it. That was our, that was our community. When I was growing up, we were 2,500 people. So you knew everybody in town. When I was a kid, I was just hoping we'd get paved streets. We were so dependent on agriculture um, now we're diversified. When the data centers first started, I think there was a lot of resistance because change is hard for anybody and I think particularly when all they've ever known is, is agriculture. At first people were just going, well, we've got to wait and see, like, it, like everything else. Change is always uh, maybe a little bit uncomfortable, but if you embrace it and work with the data centers, it's been a great thing for our area. I think people uh, think of uh, the internet when they think of data centers, um, but it's a lot more than that. Uh, you know, in our facilities here in central Washington, you do have cloud services, you have artificial intelligence, data backup or archiving banking and financial services, government services, a lot of healthcare. And then we have a, a movie production studio. It's a, it's a render farm that is rendering you know, CGI movies. Our customers uh, rely on these facilities for vital operations functionality. From our perspective there, they've been a very good neighbor. Ecologically, very clean. It's been really neat to to have them come into our community and, and absorb us as, as well as we've absorbed them. They've been very involved in the community and done a lot to improve things. There's just about 600 direct jobs from our data centers, which is really big for our area because these are great family wage jobs and they have a multiplying effect. So for every job that a data center brings in, they're bringing in indirect jobs to support the data center. So there's so many more jobs than just your direct data center jobs that you see. They're a wonderful, wonderful addition to your community. Grant County Public Utility District did a study that determined that if the data centers weren't here, the, the residents' power rates would be higher. In other words, we're subsidizing power. Quincy has been very good to us. The city has been really great to work with. The port of Quincy has been really great to work with. In the state of Washington, one of the goals of the Department of Commerce was to help develop rural areas. We um, push really hard to see these um, tax incentives and we will continue to do that. Some people have looked at that, if you incentivize them, we've lost that tax money. Well, if you don't incentivize them, you don't get any tax money. I mean, we've gone from 1.2 billion of assessed value to 4.6 billion in essentially 10 years. And it's gonna to continue to rise. Out of our top 10 um, property tax companies in Grant County, six of those are data centers. The data centers have created that property tax increase that has allowed the cities with the sales tax to do a lot of different things. The new museum, the library, the new city hall, the new police station. Go out there and take a look at our high school. Currently we are in the new Quincy High School, a 205,000 square foot brand new state-of-the-art high school that we're building uh, right here in Quincy. There's so many exciting things about this facility that, uh, that were really unimaginable to me um, five years ago when I took this job. We're preparing our students for jobs that don't even exist now. We know that. A lot of the educators in the region have put in a lot of effort to prepare students uh, to be able to work in data centers. Working with the data centers over the last few years to develop this program has been nothing really short of pure joy. SABE and the other data centers who um, are in the area 
collaborate together and have worked with me so well that sometimes I feel like they're more excited about my program than I am, which is really hard to do. We've actually hired two uh, graduates from that program, and they are uh, some of our best uh, employees. So when I enrolled in the Big Bang Community College program for Data Center Industry, it really helped me get a running start and start pursuing a career I wanted. All the way through, Diego did a great job for us, and I think that eventually this will transform his life by being able to have this opportunity. I would tell young women to not be scared to take the opportunity. There are a lot of opportunities at data centers that a lot of people don't realize, and especially my kids. Then they actually have something to strive for, and knowing that they can stay in this area, there's definitely a future here. I definitely look forward to staying in this community and building a family. Um, my next goal is buying a home for myself. Once you see the benefits that a technology company like the data centers can bring in, once you see your sons and daughters coming back home and saying, I want to live in Quincy because they have the cool jobs, because they have a job that I can raise a family on, you'll understand why you want these companies in your area. It has really put Quincy on the map and then allowed us to grow. I think, yeah, that American dream uh, lives in Quincy and rural America. I wouldn't trade it for any other place in the world. It's, uh, it's home. Yeah.